Well, it felt a bit like Christmas morning when these uh, free packages turned up at the doorstep on Saturday morning, albeit we'd just gone into spring. But yeah, it's pretty cool when all the Mattel packages come together. So yeah, there's four of them here. Three of them are NFT cars. One did come uh, the other day, which I've already done a video on. So what's the fourth box you might be questioning? Well, you'd have to see the next video for that one. It's like the world's worst cliffhanger to a movie, isn't it? But yes, you've seen the title. Today we are checking out the NFT garage stuffs that uh, I luckily was able to redeem from Mattel Creations. So yeah, this is that whole NFT stuff. Yes, I've made many videos on it. We're not gonna delve back into it again. My opinions on this are very mixed to say the least. And yeah, this, I, again, I'm really not happy Mattel. Really unhappy of one of these cars, to be honest. So yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. Now I did feature this one here, the Chevelle SS, in a um, video all on its own because it was the first one to arrive. It got shipped out really early for whatever reason. And I was quite impressed. I quite like this. I do like how they come in their own little boxes as well. I did really like this, to be honest, as you probably know from the actual video. But that might just be because of the car. This was definitely the one I wanted out of the set. So I'm very happy I managed to score one. Very nice. But we've already starred this car. We don't need to star it again. So we'll get on to the other two. So we'll get on with the uh, Valhalla. Why not? This one was quite a cheap one. Um, you could have actually probably, I think you could have picked this up for like 20 or 30 quid on the marketplace and then redeemed it. Um, I'm not sure why now I've seen it. It's quite nice. Like, it's a pretty cool colour for one. We'll open it up out of the protector, because why not? Now I've got to try not to drop it. And actually this one, there's a little bit of um, marking on the old edges there. I have forgot to use my lens. Forgot my filter again. There we go. Gonna get closer up on it now has got a little bit of minor denting in the corners, but I mean, compared to the rest, this is actually really good. But it's just a nice looking car, actually. Because these are full detailed metal on metal. They're basically a premium car with slight spec, with a little bit of Spectra Flame paint, but it looks a bit too, um, put into a normal sort of sized blister. So these are very nice looking. So the wheels look good with the orange outline on there. Maybe I'll try and get some B-roll shots of it in a second. But yeah, I mean, say it's all metal on metal. It's properly done, and it looks really nice. Proper real rider tyres. Does look good, and so does the car art. To be fair, again, not much in the way of any holographics or anything, which I think is a bit of a shame. But that is pretty nice. And so we turn onto the car that I have a massive gripe with. Now it's not because of the car. Would you? Would you believe it? Mattel decided to send out one that was damaged. Now, I refuse to believe this was damaged in transit because one, the box come pristine along with all the others. The box it was inside is also pristine. The protective case, pristine. The car, however, not. I feel like this was dropped or just mishandled from the factory. And of course, Mattel had to do it to the most expensive one. Drop it out and bother. Of course, it had to be the Zayma Edition. You know, the one you can only get as a 50% chance from the expensive $80 packets. Yeah, of course, it happened to be that one. Now, first things first, the card design, again, it's just the same as the rest. Does nothing feels that premium about this? So, let's go straight in with the damage. I guess it could be worse, but yeah, completely cracked blister. I mean, it's cracked on the inside as well. It's got like two layers that support the car. It's cracked on the outside and even on the inside, and there's bits of plastic everywhere. I mean, I heard it, all the bits of plastic rattling around. So, so that's nice. So every time I look at this car, instead of going, oh, wow, look at that, I just think, oh, that's broken. And the other thing is, getting this on the camera might be tricky, but there's load there. There's loads like dirt. It's just scuff marks and dirt all on that main, on the blister. Same again up here, there's just specks and just, it's just not, like it's dented there as well. 
the bottom's all dented up. I mean, the dents in the blister aren't that bad. They're, they're not, they're nothing much, but the crack's just pretty disappointing, to be honest. Especially for the Zamac car. I guess from this angle, you don't see it too much. Maybe I'm getting a bit too nitpicky here, but come on, Mattel. This isn't just your, a regular, like, mainline. It's not even a premium. This, These are worth, or what they say, are worth hundreds of dollars. Um, literally they say I think it was 97 quid or something and then the NFT token you get is like a coupon that removes that value and just leaves you with the postage but Mattel these are meant to be your most sought after and rare and lowest numbered made cars from what you said when you advertise the NFTs and this is the only reason people have been buying your NFTs let's face it so come on put some effort into it like this is ridiculous this shouldn't be happening in packaging and like for god's sake Mattel if flipping every can deliver these packages without damaging them what does it say for your handling staff that put these cars in the boxes it literally survives USPS and every and it gets broken before it's even it's just unbelievable it really is and it's just left me with a sore taste towards these NFT cars because they just don't care, they just package them out like everything else, it's just a mess. Now, what do I do from here? I'm going to file a complaint, obviously, but realistically I don't want to send this back. I don't want the hassle, I don't want to wait the time, for all I know they'll just turn around and go, oh sorry, we've got none left. So, I guess we'll see if we can get any kind of partial refund, help towards buying the uh, McLaren or something. I mean, I'm desperate for any extra funds. <laughs> these days so I probably would accept a partial refund seeing as it's not uh, as long as you don't look there the problem is now I know to look there it's like ugh. other than that though this is cool like the Porsche is nice I do love the idea of it being I just love the Zamac finish Zamac finish number one the cool blue and orange stripes on there it is a nice looking thing. And it has light details and all that. And the lights on the front are lensed. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a nice thing. It's just let down by the fact they've been broken. And I know I'm not the only one. A few other people have had the uh, this issue. But obviously due to the whole shipping issues, again, I've already had to go through all these shipping issues and finally I've got them and I've still got more problems to go through. I'll message support, because that's always fun to do. Yeah, I'm sure you all know, I've been over this countless times. I feel like these should be treated more like Pokemon cards, where every car is actually redeemable, but you get standard editions and they get rare and rare with cooler blisters, Spectra Flame paint, you know, holographic designs and things, and smaller numbers, obviously, which can all be redeemed and traded through the marketplace, and then, you know, everything is eventually redeemed. So there's still an element of some kind of gambling to it, but not so much that you can only redeem a few cars. I just feel there's not enough on these cars here to really warrant them being that much more expensive. They're just a premium car. I hope the blisters would have some extra holographic stuff, but apart from a slightly shiny flame, Hot Wheels Flame logo, there's not much else. That being said, I think definitely Chevelle is my favorite here. It's the one I was really happy to get. I do like these. And it does feel cool to have these apparently really rare cars. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I'll leave you all with some B-roll of the cars so you get a nice close look and some cool music or something. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. As always, drop a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think of the cars. Subscribe for more as there'll be the next drop coming very soon. Hopefully all my cars arrive in one piece. That'd be good. I'll see you in the next one.
So I emailed Mattel, trying to be all professional-like with a polite yet stern email, basically stating, I'm pretty disappointed and this seems unacceptable that the cars have come damaged. And I said I'll provide pictures if need be. And after waiting a couple of days, they did get back to me, basically apologetic about the car and wanted me to send them some images. So I did, and before I even got an email back, I had a refund notification. And then later I had an email from someone else mind, basically saying, we appreciate the photos and uh, they know how important it is to receive them in pristine condition and then going on to say you'll receive a refund notification blah 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 so yeah in the end they refunded me 80 dollars which is pretty cool when it comes to about 63 quid went back into my bank so it appears they've rather than refunding the price of the car that was listed on the site they've actually refunded the price of the pack it come from. So it almost seems like this was the one to arrive broken because it got a much greater refund on it. I've seen in the forums too, people have only been getting $25 refunds for broken Super Treasure Hunt NFTs because you can only get them from the $25 packs, which considering how rare they are is pretty disappointing in itself. But yeah, I don't know if they can tell which pack you've got the car from. Like for instance, if the Chevelle was damaged, would I get the full $80 because it come from the expensive pack? Or they just give me the 25 because there was a chance of getting it from that pack as well? Do they know or do they just give you the lowest figure? Let me know what you think. Do you think a refund for the pack is a fair trade-off? And uh, have you run into this problem yourself? All in all, I'm pretty happy with that result. It will do for me. It's a nice boost to pick up another RLC card later on. And as for the full price I spent on these cards, I think it's just too much for what they are. They're a glorified premium car, and buying them this way for the NFT stuff is just way, way too expensive. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.